So I've spent my life trying to solve the continuum hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Now, we just heard it doesn't, you can't prove it true, and you cannot prove it false. It doesn't mean it doesn't have a solution. It just means we don't have all the principles yet. And so that's the question. Uh, are we missing the key principles, or are there principles defined that will enable us to determine whether the continuum hypothesis is true or false? Or maybe there's a much stronger version of Cohen's theorem that uh, shows that there really is no answer. So really the fundamental question is this. We have this conception of mathematical infinity, and it's embodied in the, our conception of the universe of sets. Now, that's a human creation. Maybe there's no there there, there's no up. It's just entirely an extrapolation of the world around us into a realm where there is no truth. And not being able to answer the continuum hypothesis is a direct challenge on this. It's the first question you would ask in the mathematics of infinity. And if you can't come up with an answer for that, what sense is there to the subject? So that's the situation. <laughs> uh, now, I have to say, when you work on a problem that can't be solved, you're allowed to change your mind. <laughs> that's the great thing about it. So 10 or 15 years ago, following one line of inquiry or an attempt to find new axioms, uh, I showed there was kind of an ultimate solution along this line, and I speculated then in a series of articles that the continuum hypothesis was false. And in fact, there was exactly one infinity in between the infinity of the mm. counting numbers and the infinity of the real numbers. And in any case, I showed there was an optimal solution. But then that solution ultimately doesn't fit into understanding the entire universe of sets. The continuum hypothesis is just one instance of an infinite sequence of questions. And it makes no sense to answer the problem of the continuum hypothesis without having some global solution to the universe of sets. So that became the problem. What could this global solution be? Well, we're at a crossroads right now. There's a series of conjectures, very precise, and the key question is whether these conjectures can be proved or not. If they can be proved, we will have one new principle, which when added to the traditional axioms of set theory, will settle the continuum hypothesis. True, so I'm a traitor to my pre <laughs> previous self and it will resolve all instances of the continuum hypothesis. And in fact, it will resolve all instances of questions which Cohen's method to date has been used to show are unsolvable. So that's kind of one holy grail. Prove these conjectures, we will have advanced our understanding of infinity and we'll have a conception of the universe of sets that is as robust mathematically as a conception of the integers themselves. That's one possibility. The other possibility is that you refute these conjectures. Mm -hmm. Then it's utter chaos. <laughs> we're back, it's much worse than where we were. <laughs> so that's where we are. And I really am not sure what will happen. Uh, many people have said, and they take the position that the fact that the continuum hypothesis could not be solved is an indication of this is all just human imagination gone wild. You know, and there is some merit to that. Uh, I don't believe it, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I got corrupted by Cantor. So, <laughs> uh, uh, on the other hand, if the uh, other picture unfolds and we do prove these conjectures, maybe we do them in five years, maybe we do them in a thousand years, who knows, I think that will be a remarkable event because Set theory, you don't see it. There's no satellite you can build to go out and measure the continuum hypothesis. You can't go to Europe and say, look for this particle in the LHC. There's nothing in our world around us that's going to help you determine whether or not the continuum hypothesis is true or false, as far as we know. Set theory has not penetrated into physics yet. And if we see that this imagining of this realm far beyond the integers really has content and meaning, and our intuitions guide us to the true principles, I think that's remarkable. 
because it will be success where there was no reason to expect success. You don't find the answer to the continuum hypothesis by some clever proof. We know that you can't do that. Somehow, there has to be a solution that forms to our intuitions. There have to be clues. And there's no reason to expect that that will happen. It, it really could just all be a fiction. So there's this realm. It's beyond the realm we see around us. Does it exist? And one key question there is, if it exists, the continuum hypothesis has an answer, and we need to find it. Or we could go the skeptics route and show once and for all that the conception of mathematical infinity is just that, a fiction, and there is no answer. So those are the two futures, and I wait to see what happens. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> The size of a hot and cold spot, and this next journey, you know, it all goes out in about a second. There are 400,000 trillions upon trillions of similar journeys that happen each and every day.